with these circles is we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what the diameter is because they have a pretty specific measurement. So that way we all have the same numbers to work from. So on circle A, I want you to draw in a diameter. So all the way across the circle. Not sure what that line is all about there. So a line all the way across the circle, and this one is 2.4 centimeters. So 2.4 centimeters. Then on circle B, draw in your diameter again, all the way across the circle. This one is 3.8 centimeters, all the way across. And then we have circle O, which is 4.6. So 4.6. Circle D, the diameter is 6.4. And circle E is 7.6. So 7.6 centimeters all the way across that. So get the diameters labeled in all of your circles. filling out the chart on page 11. So it says in the directions that we're going to use a string and a ruler to figure out our distance around the circle, but we're going to ignore those directions and we're going to do this a little differently since everybody may not have those supplies. Okay, so you have your five circles sitting next to you from your last slide. Whoops. Hold on one second. Okay, so in the last slide, oh, I don't know why this is not working. You had your five circles that we marked the diameter in. So you already know the diameter of your five circles. So on your chart here, we're gonna go to the diameter column and we're gonna start by filling that out. So how far is it all the way across the circle that you marked in your picture? So circle A was 2.4 all the way across. Circle B was 3.8. Circle O was 4.6. Circle D was 6.4. And circle E is 7.6. So thinking back again about your circles on your paper. So I'm not gonna be able to have both of those papers up at one time. But you had circle A that had a diameter of 2.4. So from here, I can start working out my radius column. So remember what we talked about the radius. A radius was from the center to the edge. So it was only halfway across the circle. So if I know that it's 2.4 all the way across, the radius is gonna be halfway. So what is half of? 2.4. If you're not sure, type it in your calculator. Take your 2.4, divide it by two. So quickly figure that out. And you should have gotten a radius of 1.2. So to figure out our radius, we're gonna take our diameter divided by two. We're gonna cut it in half. So now I want you to quickly put me on pause and figure out the rest of the radius column. So again, each time, take the diameter divided by two. So on circle B, our radius is 1.9. And on circle O, I'm gonna take the 4.6 divided by two and I'm gonna get 2.3. To find the radius of this one, take my diameter, cut it in half. So the diameter, 6.4 divided by two. I type that in and I'm gonna get 
I'm going to take my diameter. I'm going to cut it in half. So divide it by two. And the radius on that last circle is going to be 3.8. Once I have these two columns complete, I want to talk about the circumference. The circumference is like the perimeter of a circle. So how far is it around the outside edge? So if it's 2.4 centimeters across here, I'm trying to figure out how far is it to go around the edge of the circle, around the outside. Well, there was a very bored person long, long ago that figured out if you take your diameter and you cut a string that long, it's gonna take a little over three diameters to make it around the outside of the circle, okay? So if you wanna try this at home, if you find a circle, so I just have a bottle of hand sanitizer, if I cut a string, the length of the diameter, it's gonna take three of those strings and a little bit more to make it around the outside of my circle, okay? So let's think about a math number that's a little more than three that we see a lot in math. Anybody got any ideas? A math number, many times it's a symbol that we see, that's a little more than three. Hopefully you've seen this symbol before, which we call pi. And the number that we're gonna use for pi is 3.14. So on your paper somewhere here, let's make a little note of that. Let's put a star, because we really need to remember this. Pi is actually a never-ending decimal, but we're going to, I'm gonna erase this. So I'm gonna say pi is about, so I should use a wavy equal sign, is about 3.14. That's the number that we're going to use in seventh grade math, 3.14 for pi. So that's a little more than three times. So if I know my diameter, 2.4, I've got a 2.4, a 2.4, a 2.4, and a little bit more to go around the outside of that circle, okay? So to find my circumference, I'm gonna do pi times whatever my diameter is, okay? So what am I gonna type in for pi? 3.14 every time, times your diameter. So to figure out the circumference here, of circle A. So if you want to work out to the side where you have yourself a little extra work room, that's fine. To figure out circle A, I'm gonna do 3.14 times my diameter, which was 2.4, and I'm gonna put my answer right here. To figure out circle B, pi times my diameter. This time the diameter is 3.8. Put my answer right here. So now I want you to put me on pause and I want you to complete the circumference. Figure out how far is it around the outside of that circle. Okay, so getting our final numbers here, I'm gonna erase this out so that you can better see the answers, but I hope you have your work somewhere on your page, because remember, seventh grade math teachers definitely want to see that work on how you got that answer. And if you have enough room in the box to write yours, that's okay, but it's a little hard with my marker here. So circle A, 3.14 times the 2.4. So the circumference of circle A ends up to be 7.5 centimeters. So seven and a half centimeters to go around the outside. It was 2.4 to go across, 7.5 if I wanted to put a ribbon around the outside of that circle. Okay, circle B, pi, 3.14, times my diameter, 3.8, and I'm gonna end up with 11.9 this one. Again, I'm going to take pi, 3.14, times my diameter. So 3.14 times 
the 4.6 on this one, and circle O ends up at 14.4. Circle D, to find the circumference. How far is it around the outside of that circle? So I'm gonna take pi, the 3.14, times the diameter, which is 6.4, and that one's gonna end up at 20.1. And circle E, 3.14, times 7.6, and I'm gonna end up at 23.9 centimeters. Now I want you to put me on pause and see if you can figure out how to complete the very last column. Look at the title on the top of that one. Okay, so let's check out that final column. So we have circumference over diameter like a fraction. One thing that we have to be sure we're aware of in seventh grade is that the fraction bar is also like division. So if we have circumference over diameter as a fraction, this is actually like a division sign. So we're gonna take our circumference divided by the diameter. So on circle A, the circumference was about 7.5 once we rounded that. So we have 7.5 divided by the diameter, which is 2.4, and we're gonna round these to the nearest hundredth. So once we divide those two, we're gonna end up with 3.13 rounded to the nearest hundredth. We're gonna do that on each one of them. So we're gonna take the circumference, 11.9, divided by the diameter on this one was 3.8. And when we work that out, again, we're going to get 3.13. 14.4 divided by our diameter of 4.6. And again, we get 3.13. Take our circumference, 20.1 divided by, it says the diameter which is 6.4 on this one. This time, I get 3.14. Here, I've got 23.9 divided by the diameter, which is 7.6. I have 3.14. So what do we notice about this final column? Every time we took our circumference and divided it by the diameter, we got either 3.13 or 3.14 which both of these are pretty close to pi. So the ratio of our circumference to the diameter is always gonna be about pi. Now, why did I not always get 3.14? Well, that's because we have some rounded numbers here. So we rounded our circumference to the nearest tenth, which causes this maybe to be off just a little bit. So what to remember? We take our sum circumference divided by our diameter, we should get something close to pi. If we are figuring out our circumference, remember to go around the whole circle, our diameter will fit a little more than three times. So a little more than three times is pi. Pi times the diameter is gonna give us our circumference. So hopefully your uh, chart worked out okay for you. Make sure you have your work shown on how to fill in these pieces.